This is time to tell a tale. My name is Juki Davy, but you can just call me Juki. All right, all my furry fur fur friends. I am positive you're gonna love this next story. Well, that's just clawful. If you couldn't guess, the story I'm gonna read to you today is about a cat. Meow. 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 Hang on to your fur and whiskers, my furry friends, because the story I'm going to tell to you today is called Cat Kong. To go along with our Another story that I read recently, Dogzilla. Dogzilla. Cat Kong. Cat Kong by Dave Pilkey. One dark and perilous night, three mouse explorers sailed to a strange and uncharted island. Captain Charles Limburger steered the tiny vessel while Dr. Vincent Varmint and his beautiful assistant, Rosie Rodent, looked on. When they reached the land, the three explorers were astonished. A group of natives was performing an ancient ceremony, offering up a sacrificial can of tuna fish, and repeated a mysterious chant. <laughs> Suddenly, the island began to tremble. Crashing through the thick forest came the most frightening creature ever known to mouse kind. The mighty Cat Kong! <coughs> Meowing and hissing ferociously, the colossal cat took three giant pity steps. And tripping over the tuna fish can, clunk, Cat Kong bumped his head on the ground and was knocked out cold. If only we can bring him back to the city with us, said Dr. Varmint. No, replied Rosie Rodent. Dr. Varmint. Think of the money we could make! So the three explorers wrapped Cat Kong in a giant burlap bag and tied him tightly to the ship. As they sailed back to the great city of Mouseopolis, they took special care not to let the cat out of the bag. Several days later, in downtown Mouseopolis, Dr. Varmint revealed his discovery to a sold-out crowd. Ladies and gentle mice, he squeaked, I give you Cat Kong, the nine-lived wonder of the world. The audience cheered! <laughs> Cat Kong, however, was not amused. The towering tomcat hissed and meowed wildly. Smell, smell, 
Mats! 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 Don't be afraid! Dr. Varmint told the crowd. There is no way this creature could escape. No way. I repeat, there is no way this creature can escape. Well, off. Actually, I could be wrong about that. Soon the city of Mousopolis was in panic. The ferocious feline tore through the streets, knocking down buildings, ripping out power lines, and generally causing quite a ruckus. Captain Charles Limburger rushed off to organize a counterattack team, while the beautiful Rosie Rodent watched the destruction from her apartment window. Help! cried the engineer. The cat's got my train! Help! squeaked the butcher. The cat's got my tongue! Help! shrieked Rosie. The cat's got me! Soon the crazed cat was headed straight for the top of the Romano Inn with the beautiful Rosie tailing behind. Tailing behind. Tailing behind. The fleet of airplanes quickly flew into action, but their weapons were useless against the meowing menace. It seemed as though nothing can stop the terrifying cat calm. Then, suddenly, a squeaky ray of hope rocketed through the thick clouds of gloom and despair. Captain Charles Limburger to the rescue! Captain Limburger had a plan. He swooped close to Cat Kong and held out a red package tied with gold ribbon. Hey, Cat! He shouted. Look what I've got! He circled again and again, shouting, You'll never guess what's inside this package! Cat Kong stared intensely at the package. With each passing second, the colossal kitty's interest grew and grew. Finally, Cat Kong could stand it no longer. He had to find out what was inside that package. With one swift paw, the puzzled pussycat reached out for the red package. And lost his balance. When the dust settled, a crowd of mice gathered to view the final resting place of the mighty cat, Kong. He's fallen! Said one mouse. And he can't get up! Said another. Well, said the chief of police, it looks as if beauty killed the beast. No said Dr. Varmint, as he looked sadly into the glowing red horizon. It was curiosity, curiosity, killed the cat. The end. Well, wasn't that just positively great? What a great story. Probably my favorite story about a cat. Probably ever. Thank you all so much for reading this story with me. If you had fun, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any great stories. Who do you like better? Do you like Cat Kong better 
Or do you like Dogzilla better? Who do you think would win in a fight? Dogzilla or Cat Kong? Very interesting. I don't know. It would be a pretty interesting fight. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will see you all next time when it's time to tell a tale. Bye-bye, everyone.